Hey everyone, I'm Rue. Have you ever made a promise? Yeah, mom, I'll clean my room before you get home. I promise. Have you ever forgotten about a promise? Oh no, I totally forgot to clean. Promises can be good, but they also can be tricky. Today in The Source, Gabby's gonna feel like a promise has been broken, but there might be more to the story. Let's find out what happens. Six. Bowie, can you please count silently? Yeah, sure. 45, 46. Wait, didn't I just say 45 and 46? What? Gotta start over. Whoa, what happened to you? Did the dog eat your own work? Do you know what day it is today? Don't tell me, I got this. Pretend to be a time traveler day. Uh, no, guess again. Gabby, can you just tell us I'm really not in the mood for games? Well, I love games. There's Uno, Parcheesi, Ants in My Pants. I actually had that happen to me once. Not that much fun. No, oh, today is the day that I find out if I got the scholarship to Merritt University. You're leaving us? Why wasn't I told about this? This is an outrage! Bowie, Gabby graduates this year. She can't stay in high school forever. I don't know what to do with this information. I, I want us to stay here forever. Oh, well, thankfully, I can't. Gabby, I don't know why you're so worried about this. I mean, you do everything right in school. You joined all the clubs, started the newspaper, and your grades are totally top 10. Yeah, but Merritt University is the only university that I actually want to get into. And in order to attend, I need a scholarship. You'll be fine. It was a really hard process. I had to write a 1500 word essay and score super high on my SATs and have two letters of recommendation. You just said a lot of words and I don't know what any of them mean. Hopefully my letter of recommendation from Miss Maine will put me over the top, but I'm still worried. Worrying won't help. And how do I stop? Video games, probably? No, I remember Mr. C saying that God promises to give us peace if we ask. Really? God makes promises? I mean, yeah, that's what Mr. C said, and I'm sure it doesn't hurt to ask and pray about it. Okay, can, can you pray? Sure. God, please help my friend get the scholarship and give her peace. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Trixie. Hey, that's what friends are for. Hey, Trixie. Thanks for praying. I'm actually feeling a lot better about this whole thing. You are? Yeah. I think God gave me that piece you were talking about. That's great. I got an email. Oh, okay. Um, we get emails every day. No, I got an email from Merritt University. I'm too nervous. I don't want to open it. Gabby, you have to look at it. It's not gonna change the answer either way. Okay, I know I have to look at it, but I don't know if I wanna know. Okay, then I'll check. Uh, no, no, I can do it. I didn't get the scholarship. What? Yeah, I got into the school, but I didn't get the scholarship. Well, hey, I mean, at least you got into the school. It doesn't matter if I can't afford to go. So much for promises. Wait, 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 Gabby, Gabby, wait, maybe there's some other options, but you can go to another school. No, there are no other options. My whole life, I just wanted to go to Merritt University and now my dreams are over. Okay, but... What are we gonna do, Trix? I don't know, Bowie. We prayed. <laughs> Why didn't God answer the prayer? He did. I just don't think he answered it the way that Gabby wanted him to.
Hey again, promises are so important. When we make a promise, we're asking someone to trust us and saying that we trust them. Do you know that God has made some promises too? They're written down in the Bible and some of them are for you. Sometimes it's not easy to remember that God has made us amazing promises though, especially when life gets tough. Back in the Bible days, a guy named Abraham knew just how tough it could be to trust God's promises. You can read Abraham's story in the first book of the Bible called Genesis. God made Abraham an amazing promise. Abraham would be the father of a huge family. God would bless Abraham and give him all he needed. Finally, God promised that Abraham's family would change the whole world. Wow, God gave Abraham so much a home to live in with everything he needed. Part of God's promise had come true, but there was still a problem. In order to be a father, Abraham had to have kids. And Abraham and his wife Sarah had exactly zero kids. To make things more impossible, they were both about 75 years old. That's like as old as my grandparents. Abraham wondered, God, did you break your promise? Is it even possible for me to still have a child? God told Abraham to look at the stars. God said Abraham would have more people in his family than there were stars in the sky. <laughs> yeah! Oh, my back. This seemed mm, unlikely, and it meant Abraham had a choice to make trust God's promise, or start to go his own way. I believe you, God. Abraham chose to trust God, no matter what happened. So, he waited. Hello. And waited. <sighs> and waited. 25 years later, Abraham was still waiting. Until one day, his wife Sarah said she was going to have a baby. What? I'm like a hundred years old. Oh, my back again. Oh. They were like a hundred, but they had a baby and named him Isaac. Isaac grew up. He had a family, and eventually a whole country of people called Israel came from Abraham's family. God's promises were totally true. When life got tough, Abraham had to choose whether or not to trust God. He wasn't perfect, but so many times he decided to trust God's promises. And that's why God has completely changed the world through Abraham. What I want you to remember from all of this is, we can believe God's promises. You might be wondering, how do we know what God's promises are? Well, we can learn about God's promises for us today by reading what he says in the Bible, especially the things Jesus, God's son, said. Earlier, Gabby was having a really tough time believing that things were gonna be okay. I wonder if there's a promise that can help her out right now. Let's find out what happens in The Source. So glad you're here. Why? What's up? We have a problem. <sighs> you downloaded a virus in the computer lab, didn't you? Not today. No, but we got something bigger. <laughs> What's bigger than a virus? Well... <laughs> Sup? Uh, oh, hi, Gabby. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just chilling. Okay, so what is all of that? I have decided that I'm done trying. I mean, what good does it do me anyway? Trying does a lot of good. Trying helps you win the big game. Trying helps you pass the test. Trying helps you get the extra cookie in the cafeteria. Cafeteria cookies are the best. <laughs> Gabby, this isn't you. This is the new me. I'm just trying to you know, relax, take it easy. Enjoy life. 
Oh, Omega Man 7. I love that issue. You're reading comics now? That is awesome! <laughs> Not helping, Gabby. We've been through a lot this year. And we've had our ups, and we've most definitely had our downs, but just giving up like this isn't you. I'm tired, Trixie. I'm tired of always doing the right thing and always working hard because what does all of that hard work get me? Nothing. But... Look, for the first time in my life, I'm at peace. God promised to give me peace, right? I don't think this is what we were talking about. Oh! Nap time. What? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Perfect. This is bad. That's an understatement. We need Miss Mame. This is bigger than Miss Mame. Well, you got a better idea? No. Then I will go and find Miss Mame. Gabby, get up! Trixie! That is not cool! Gabby, this is your final year of high school! Now is not the time to give up! Trixie, for the 19 millionth time, I have worked hard my whole life and it got me nothing. Yeah, I don't think this is what working hard is about. <sighs> Where is my promise? You said that God makes promises. Well, he broke his promise to me. Gabby, God never promised you a scholarship. He promised you peace, and now you are rejecting it! Fine. I'll accept my peace. Peace. <sighs> Gabby, last year was really hard for me, and Mr. Corbin told me that God doesn't make things easier, but he does promise to stay with us through it. Great, more promises. Yeah, she's just sleeping, Miss Main. I mean, she's awake now. I see that. Okay, Bowie, I think Miss Main's got this. Let's well, go. Sure, we can probably help if no, we need to. No, let's go. Okay. Gabby, you want to tell me what's happening? You won't care. <laughs> Try me. I didn't get the scholarship to merit. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's really tough. Yeah, it's actually, it's more than that. <laughs> Miss Maine, it's not fair. See, I've worked hard my whole life, and I've done everything that I was supposed to do, like everything, and I still have nothing. Life doesn't work that way. You're not always going to get everything that you want, even if you work hard. But if you continue doing what you're supposed to do, then you will get what you need. It didn't get me what I need. I needed that scholarship. My dad lost his job, and he can't afford to send me to college, so without that scholarship, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You get up, and you keep trying. Gabby, it is still fall, and there are other schools that you can apply to, and I'm sure many of them will offer you a scholarship. But Merritt is the best school for writing. Who says? Everyone. Oh, and everyone always knows best. Gabby, do you think that I had a good career as a news reporter. You had a great career. Okay, well, I didn't go to Merritt. You didn't? No. I went to a school that I could afford. Now, it wasn't a top-ranked school, but I did the best that I could. And when things didn't work out or I failed, I kept trying. But I didn't apply to any other schools. Okay, well the year's not over. Listen, I can contact my old school and if you promise to go back to being the Gabby we all know, I could probably set you up with an interview. Are you serious? Yeah, oh but Gabby, lose the blanket. Oh yeah, yeah, no. And I expect one of your best articles on the next issue. Absolutely, I'm on it. And remember, don't let setbacks set you back. I could have phrased that better. Um, God, I should probably believe your promises now. Thanks for sticking with me even when my attitude wasn't the best. Love, Gabby. That 
was a fantastic day. We learned that we can trust God's promises. We got to hear how Abraham trusted God and saw that God's promises to Abraham were completely true, even today. We also saw Gabby not receive a scholarship for the school she wanted to get into, and she took it pretty hard, but then learned that not everything is lost, nothing. Not failure, not hurt, not rejection. Nothing can separate us from God's promises or from God's love. So what does that mean for us? Well, this week, try learning some of God's promises. You can look them up in the Bible with the help of this handy bookmark. My challenge for you is to memorize one of God's promises. Memorizing these promises is a great way to remind ourselves that God is always there for us and always loves us. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week.